Hey everybody. Okay, so I promised that I would do a a tutorial on alternative um, protective styling for your hair for women with locks, right? Um, especially immature locks. Um, it's totally understood that you do have to go to work um, and you do have to go um, other places and you want to keep your locks and um, they're getting frizzy or they are frizzy they're staying frizzy because they're little babies um, they're being uncontrollable and don't want to do what they're told totally understood I have that issue too so I wanted to share with others that are in the place where I'm at and hope to encourage you to keep on going keep your locks keep on going and just do something alternative um, until um, your locks mature okay so, we're going to go ahead and get started with this tutorial. So, the first way that I am going to do for you is the... Oh, let me stop for a minute. Disclaimer time. Under no way am I associated with, affiliated to, um, doing this on the behalf of, nor have uh, I gotten this week for free. I, I paid for it. I bought it. Okay, um, the Janet collection company. I'm not affiliated with them. I'm not affiliated with um, RockyTrading.com in which I purchased the wig from. Um, this wig was $8, um, just so you know. It is the um, Afro Volcano in a number four for me. That's the color I chose. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started um, with the tutorial for you. Take off my head wrap. This is another alternative. If you'd like to see how to install these, I have done it on my channel um, for you so that you can um, have that as another option. Okay, so let me just go ahead and get myself prepared to do this. I should have already been prepared, right? Um, but yeah, anyhow, there we go just have to set the mirror in place. So, um, I already have on a wig cap, right? Um, you guys know how to put those on, so I'm not going to worry about telling you how to do that. Um, this particular wig doesn't have any combs and I'm perfectly fine with that. Um, it has little bands in the back where I can tighten it as necessary, but the cap is kind of small. My head is not big, it's a normal size, but um, it fits perfectly. So what you're going to do um, is just go ahead and start from placing the back directly where it goes. Then go ahead and take the front and pull it to where it goes. Um, I'm not real fine of this yet. Um, I have washed it once already. Um, it does a lot of shedding, but for eight dollars, you know, what could you expect? I have not cut it. Well, actually, I paid eight ninety-five. I do believe it was. Um, I haven't cut it yet, um, and I probably will. I probably will cut it. Uh, so this is how it looks. I haven't put any product in it. It is human hair. Um, so it's supposed to be curlable and everything like that. Um, I've done a quick review about this wig um, on another video that I did, that I put. Um, so that is one option just to kind of wear it just like it comes out. And I can promise you ladies that this wig is not going to look like this, nor is it going to look like on a picture either. Um, you have to work with it. You have to you have to um, wash it, condition it, put some product on it, um, maybe cut it to your liking um, where it fits your particular face style or your particular attitude or personality. Um, I would definitely wear this like totally wild because I am a person that like big hair. 
So I would not, um, me personally, um, I probably wouldn't even comment. That would be, this would be like the look for me right here. Um, also, another thing that you could do, um, I don't know the lady uh, name on the channel that I seen and saw one of one of her. She's a beautiful young lady, um, but I don't I don't remember her name. I do apologize if you ever watch this video. I apologize to you now, um, in the name of Jesus. Um, but she wore a headband around hers. And I thought that that was um, quite cute and quite creative. Um, you can certainly do that. I have a headband right here. It's a little bigger than um, what I would want to use for this particular um, look. But we're just going to give it a try right quick. So this is what you would do. You would simply take everything and push it back. Okay? Push it back to where you want it. In this event, um, with pushing this wig back, I would strongly suggest that you go ahead and take some bobby pins and pin it down so that it doesn't um, wind up without you and you without it. Um, you know, like you might be out somewhere and she wind up three miles down the road um, behind you because you didn't know she came off. So pin it down, but I'm not going to pin it down right now, but you go ahead and pin it down. And then in the front where you want your headband, again, this is not the headband that I would wear. And um, ladies, just to let you know, my hair has not been twisted. Um, it has not been twisted in a uh, few weeks and I don't want to be twisting on it twisting the locks because the root shaft can get thin um, and it can wind up um, your locks could wind up just kind of finding the weight, their way off into your hand um, And yeah, your locks could wind up in your hand, and I don't mean like in your hand and then still on your head. I mean like in your hand and you have to either sew them back on or throw them in the trash. So um, I like, actually I like when my hair is not uh, tightly twisted because I can do things like this. I can um, go ahead and uh, wear a wig. Um, away from my face and it will give the illusion that um, it'll give the illusion that she is growing out my scalp when she really isn't um, you may want to take some gel gel of your choice and just go ahead and put it around the edges of your hair so your hair the edges of your hair will lay down a little bit more smoothly for you okay so you could do that and of course um, oh goodness of course accessorize to your liking to however you choose and there you have it. There is the Janet, the um, Afro Volcano, and it doesn't look too too bad. I could I could go out and have a wonderful day um, in this look, either down or away from my face, like I have it now. I hope this has helped you. Please do um, comment, rate, subscribe, ask questions. Um, I will be happy to get back to you as quickly as I possibly can to answer any questions that you leave for me. Okay? You be blessed in all that you do. Um, yes, the enemy does come to steal, kill, and destroy, but Jesus, he's come to give life and give it more abundantly. This is the day that the Lord has made. 
Rejoice. Rejoice, I tell you. And be glad in it. Amen. God bless you. Bye.